Manage Plugins page allows you to manage plugins across your child sites. You can perform common operations such as activate, deactivate, delete, and even update plugins. When managing plugins, the first step is always to select the desired child sites across which to search. You can do so per site, tag, or client. Let's select all sites. Next up is status. We can search for active, inactive, active and inactive, and not installed. Let's search for active and inactive. In the search options, you can specify the plugins for which to search. You can also leave this empty to search for all plugins. Finally, click the Show Plugins button. We now see a list of all sites and their active and inactive plugins. If a plugin is active, you will have the ability to deactivate it from the list, and if it is inactive, you will have the ability to either activate or delete it. If a plugin has an update available, it can also be updated directly from this list. You can also perform these actions in bulk from the Bulk Actions menu. As you can see, most actions now are grayed out because we searched for both inactive and active plugins. Let's now search for inactive only. Since the table is now populated with only inactive plugins, the available actions in the bulk actions menu have changed. You can also search by not installed status. This offers a very handy way to find sites that don't have a certain plugin installed. To show that off, let's select not installed and find sites that don't have classic editor installed. We see four sites without it installed. Let's select them and then click the Install to Selected Sites button. This leads us to the Install Plugins page where those sites are already selected in the sidebar and we can now easily install Classic Editor on those sites. Finally, we have the Exclude Plugin toggle. This can be useful when you want to do some bulk operations across your plugins but want to exclude, for example, WooCommerce and WooCommerce-related plugins. So we will select Active, type in WooCommerce, and toggle this on. The table will now be populated with all plugins except for those with WooCommerce in their name.